Hello everybody, Andrew Casey at Hypersanity Books. Today I'm doing the Stephen King tag. I've seen a couple channels have done it, and I think it's an interesting tag. Although I wouldn't do the book tag on the children's channel for the obvious reasons. I'm also not going to throw a whole stack of other references and jump scares within the video. I just don't think that's appropriate. But I will be honest within answering all of these questions. But right now, we'll just get into it. Number one, how did you get into reading Stephen King? My spouse introduced me. She suggested starting with The Gunslinger, and everything moved on from there. I did look at a few more books. I'm not too fond of his writing style, and I have to be honest from the beginning. A lot of his books I'm not as keen on due to the way they're written. However, I do think he has a lot of big ideas. Question two, what is the first Stephen King book you read? It will be The Gunslinger, the Dark Tower story. I find it's the centre of his universe, and it seemed like the point to begin with. And I haven't read all of the Dark Tower novels, also there are other books that he has worked on where I've given some a go and I've put a lot down. Question 3. Have you read a Stephen King book in the year you were born? He wrote seven books in 1985. No, I have not read any of those books. Question 4. Which of his books do you prefer to collect? Hardcovers, paperback, or it doesn't matter? Well, I'm not much of a collector of books. I go for more ebooks, I borrow books, swap books. Though, no, it does not matter to me. However, yeah, if I was a bigger Stephen King fan, I would be collecting up the books. However, with other authors that I do know, yes, I am collecting more hardcover copies of certain books to not be touched because they're more precious from the particular author that they are. But Stephen King can write um, six books or eight books within a year, and it's harder to support um, one author over other authors as a collective. So, yeah, that, that's just where I'm at at the moment. But if I was more of a bigger King, Stephen King fan, I would absolutely try to track down hardcovers. Question five. How many of his books are on your bookshelf? I don't own a single one except for a couple that I've had on ebook. I mostly borrowed them from our local library. My partner, however, she has a bigger collection, though I would say she's donated 30 of his books to the nursing home where I am currently working part-time. Question 6. Stephen King is known for long and gory novels. Which of his novels was tough for you to read? Three books that were tough to read. Stephen King's Misery, due to a horrible relationship and the control. Thinner. Stephen King's Thinner was hard to read because of the dramatic weight loss, as you can see from a few photos. It was quite rough. There was medical report and things, and this person came back years later through other things that I went through with family court to testify. And unfortunately, as a male, you go to the police, and they're not going to help you. You go as a female eight years later without any sort of proof or anything else except for being in a former relationship, and you need a lawyer immediately. Otherwise, I got most of that resolved, and yes, after some more time, life moves on. But there were two books that were quite hard to read, and this absolute crazy bitch can be all by herself. The other book that was hard to read was Stephen King's It, because in my childhood, it was more of my worst fear. Question 7. Have you DNF a Stephen King's book? I will be honest. From the writing style, and it's not a bad criticism... I just also find I'm not as keen on his writing style. I think he's good as a pantser. I think he is quite successful. There are some that I like, and there are some where I think it's just unnecessary. Therefore, I have put down a lot of his books, and it's just time restraints and in life, mostly, but I think he is a brilliant man with a lot of big ideas. But I have to be honest. I'm not a super-duper Stephen King's fan, but I will recognise him for what he has done to be quite successful. Question 8. Have you read his books in publication order? The amount of books that he has written, I can't keep up with it, so definitely not. Though, I still think it's quite inspiring how many books he has written. Question 9. What Stephen King books would you like to read that you haven't read yet? I'll have to say the Dark Tower saga. I have read the first book, but I haven't given the others a go. They are a lot longer, 
and I just got busy with a lot of time restraints. However, one day I'd like to get through and read them all. Question 10. Name a book that he has written that other people like that you don't like, Christine. However, after hearing a few more things about the book, I was too young when I read it, so I think it's better to give it a go now compared to when I was 15. I think I'm a lot more mature to enjoy the book, let alone back then I didn't think too much about driving cars. I mean, I didn't get my license till I was 35 years old. I just turned 39. Question 11. Name a book of his that is underrated. I'll have to say Doctor Sleep. I love The Shining, and I do understand how he felt with the film, compared to the book, and why Stephen King doesn't promote the movie. However, he does like the movie Doctor Sleep, and I think it is so underrated between movie and book. And the antagonist, wow. There is something so sinister about the character, and even though a lot of their way of living is draining um, and killing children, taking their power to live longer and live through lifetimes, it is incredible. I found Doctor Sleep was one of those sorts of stories that was interesting. It does touch on about Alcoholics Anonymous, especially to the Jack Torrance character within the first book, and there's, I think Doctor Sleep is so underrated, it is a good read. Question 12. Creepy characters. Which Stephen King's characters would you like to have dinner with? My number one pick, and probably my only pick, would be Cliff Curtis in Doctor Sleep. He's the good friend, also help with the AA meetings. Non-judgmental, because we've all done things that are wrong in life. There is just something more about his character that I enjoyed. And I think out of most of the characters, he was one that I liked to be around. Most characters in Stephen King books, yeah, I wouldn't want to be anywhere near them. 13. Has Stephen King inspired you to start reading and writing? All the time. Mostly writing more than reading. And I think with the horror genre or thrillers, usually there's a bigger story behind the supernatural themes or whatever's going on. I find a lot of comedies don't really have a story or it's too slapstick. I find some of these other stories are situations that people are not doing dumb things to be in that situation. However, I would say, yeah, I have inspired a lot more and my interest in genre has shifted since being with my wife Janelle where she has introduced me to certain horrors and thrillers and I've come forward with some other ideas from there. So I will have to definitely say more writing than reading. Question 14. If you were able to meet Stephen King, what would you say? I would have a big talk to Stephen King about it. I enjoyed the book. I enjoyed watching the remake. However, the original movie, I was traumatised as a child. I found I couldn't even go near the video store to the horror section. Even being drawn to seeing the cover would freak me out. It's the sort of thing that I couldn't look at. I was so afraid. Even in my early 30s, trying to watch the first couple scenes with what happened to poor Georgie, it was a bit too much for me. However, going through a bit of therapy and other counselling and support, I worked through understanding that it's Tim Curry and broke through that. I would like to talk to Stephen King about it, but I think in some sense, I think he's already heard it all before. Otherwise, I appreciate going through some of that uh, unnecessary trauma, or necessary trauma if you want to call it, and taking that time to learn and develop and grow. I've come to enjoy Stephen King's It as one of my all-time favourite films. And in my last, when I was 36, I watched the film with my wife, and I quite enjoyed it. I love watching the movie again and again. I think the character... Pennywise is quite memorable. However, I also do know that a lot of children have been exposed to this sort of horror, and I find it quite concerning what parents are actually out there exposing their children to this. Question 15. Have you ever been to Bangor or Maine? I would say I'd like to go check out Maine, because I noticed that's where a lot of his stories are. Also, Casper was said to be in Maine. It was one of those sorts of points that's quite interesting with that connection. And, I don't know, I would like to check it out and see some of the sites. I have seen a couple of reviews talk about that. 
So I don't know, I wonder. But that's another story that may happen another day. Question 16. What do you prefer, books or movies? I prefer the book more so than movies. However, movies is something that I can enjoy for a time period with my wife and we can just enjoy whatever story is coming forward. And I think that's one of the beauties of the storytelling. And sometimes time restraints are what it is, so sometimes the movie is the preferred choice. And if I like the movie, I do give the book a go. Sometimes I know it's better to read a book before you see the movie, but it just works a little bit differently in this case. So movie more than the book. Question 17. Name some Stephen King films that you like. Well, I'm just going to end by pulling up some videos, just uh, two seconds of Stephen King movies that I do suggest. However, there's also the point on tagging people at the end. I think this is more of a personal choice. There's a part where I don't mind being tagged in things, and there's another point where it can be expectations, especially running three different book channels now. So at the moment, if you feel like doing the Stephen King book tag, absolutely go for it. And there are some good movies to suggest, and one of my favourites would be Doctor Sleep. Otherwise, that's it for today. Hit like, subscribe, comment. I'll be touching on some other Stephen King books, but that's another story that shall be told another time.